Let's denote the given equations of the two lines by 1 and 2 respectively. Therefore, the equation of the line passing through the intersection of lines 1 and 2 can be written as ax plus 2by plus 3b plus a parameter lambda times bx minus 2ay minus 3a is equal to 0. Collecting the coefficients of x and y, we get a plus b lambda times x plus 2b minus 2a lambda times y plus 3b minus 3a lambda is equal to 0. Now for this line to be parallel to the x-axis, it needs to be of the form y is equal to constant. In other words, the coefficient of x should be equal to 0, which implies that a plus b lambda should be equal to 0, which implies that lambda is equal to minus a upon b. Plugging this into the above equation for the line passing through the intersection of lines 1 and 2, we get the first term is equal to 0 and the second term is 2b minus 2a times minus a upon b times y plus 3b minus 3a times minus a upon b is equal to 0. This simplifies to 2 upon b times in brackets a square plus b square times y plus 3 upon b times in brackets a square plus b square is equal to 0. This can be written as a square plus b square upon b times in brackets 2y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we are given that both a and b are not equal to 0. Therefore a square plus b square is also not equal to 0. Therefore we can multiply both sides of the above equation by b divided by a square plus b square. The right hand side is equal to 0. And the left hand side simplifies to 2y plus 3. Therefore, the desired equation of the line passing through the intersection of the given lines is given by 2y plus 3 is equal to 0 or y is equal to minus 3 upon 2, which is the required answer.